lovely lot. It's been a long time since I filmed a YouTube video. Um, so let's have a chat. So this is going to be a brand new series on my channel. Um, you'll obviously know the video as you'll see in the title. So it's my house tour. So the reason I'm doing this is because me and Liam have decided to stay here. Um, we did want to move, however, finance, the current crisis that we're in, we're not going to be able to for a good few years, really. So we've decided to stay here. We love our home. It's a lovely, lovely house, but we just feel like we need a little bit more space. Um, however, it's fine and we're very grateful for what we've got. So we've decided to sort of decorate and re, not renovate, but sort of restyle our home on a budget. <laughs> um, when I say on a budget, I mean, we have zero pounds to spare. <laughs> um, so it's basically going to be a lot of upcycling, selling and buying. Um, so I wanted to film the current state of the house and yeah it's lovely and we really like the house but we just feel like it's ready for a bit of a revamp not every room needs doing and um, we had our bathroom redone a couple of years ago and obviously otis's room but both of them the rooms need a bit of love i guess um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you around my whole house show you bits show you sort of like my vision um and yeah, we'll take it from there. So the, we live in a two bed terraced house. It's actually a semi-detached, like we're not attached both sides. Um, however, I think it's classed as a terrace. So it's like a Victorian house. It's got really high ceilings, which that's what sold us the house. This whole living dining area is very open plan, which again, sold us the house. And we've got the open staircase as well. So some of these things, I'm gonna share with you what we want, whether we do all of this, I have no idea, <laughs> but I just wanted to document this journey because I love watching stuff like this. So yeah, it's a little bit different for me, but if you're into sort of home renovations and decorating and house tours, anything homely, then stick by me, subscribe and enjoy. I am going to be completely open and honest about this house as well and show you sort of the flaws and the stuff that we want to improve um, because on the gram you just see the best but I just want to be honest and I feel like I'm not the only person that's sort of hides away their flaws of their house um, and yeah why not I feel like a lot of people are in this same position so here goes. So guys, I am currently at our front door, which is just here. Um, this is what I mean by floors. Look, gross. All needs repainting um, and stuff. Like it's just, basically, we've never painted this downstairs since moving in for, oh, I don't know how long it was, six years ago, golly gosh. Um, and like, oh, like we've got cracks, we've got like, it's just dingy. It just really needs a paint. So yeah, this is the current look of the living room. It's lovely to a lot of people, but we just feel like it needs a bit of love and just a bit of improvement. We love plants. So the more plants, the better for us. So this floor, it's a full wood laminate floor running the whole way through. So for me, this is probably the biggest job ever. However, we're still undecided whether we are going to relay floor. If we do, we're probably going to get a lino, um, a cheap lino to run over the top of the laminate. Um, just because it's such a big job and we don't have any space to put anything Um if we did do it obviously we've got otis as well so it'd be a massive job so that's a maybe and we've seen some parquet lino look floor that we really like staircase again might need to paint that 
don't know if we will because it's such a big job obviously we won't be able to go upstairs when we paint it so i'm not entirely sure if we will do this however it really does need doing it looks worse on the camera to be honest than in real life but it if we don't we'll give it a good clean whether we just paint this bottom bit i don't know we'll see um so all the walls need Sorry, I just dropped my camera there. So all the walls need filling. We've got cracks in the wall. It's just old house and repainting and we're gonna just paint it white. So these little wall lights here, um, we're going to take out that one and then there's one at the other side of the room, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, just because they're gross, look how old fashioned they are. So that's completely gonna come out. This one is, the fitting's gonna come off and we're gonna replace it with some cute, wall light fitting, I'm not sure, industrial style. And then here we're gonna create a vinyl station slash toy cupboard um, with our beautiful vinyl player. And we bought a unit, which is over there, which I'll show you in a minute. TV cabinet, love it, gonna keep it. However, we need to make this section here baby proof. So any ideas, let me know. I hate the games on display anyone else like me hate that anyway the sofas beautiful sofas very comfortable however they are massive let me come this way and show you beautiful sofas so they're currently on facebook hoping to sell them and we have seen i'll try and upload a photo of one that we've seen in ikea it's basically not a corner it's about the same width as this sofa but it's take away the corner and it's a darker grey and we're going to get rid of the cuddle chair and replace it with armchairs um, for more space basically because again we have a little baby well soon to be toddler that's going to be walking around very soon so we need a lot more space for him um, this unit eventually basically we've got a lot of the Ikea black brown sort of furniture that we just want to replace with like quirky items i feel like i'm a bit i don't know i love the ikea stuff it's so convenient and so easy and looks really sleek slick but i'm just a bit over it if i'm honest so that's going however we're going to keep it for now because it's brilliant for storage gross hate baby toys but you have to have them um, this box under the stairs is full of Otis's toys, which is amazing. So we're probably going to keep that. We're going to replace that poof with something else. Table and chairs. I bought this off Facebook about six years ago. It's gross. It needs replacing. But again, it's just going to be one of them things where when we see it, we'll get it on Facebook. Um, I don't mind secondhand furniture because people give away like pretty much new furniture now. This, I know I've just said, hate Ikea furniture. This is Ikea. However, that's going to go in the vinyl corner down there. And I'm going to upcycle this. This is going to be a separate video. So I'm going to keep it quite short and sweet, but basically going to be painting it black. Um, and then replacing these sections with rattan. So I'm going to leave it there, but you'll see a video coming very soon. This, however, hate it. Look how gross the walls are. There used to be a chalkboard there. Gross. Um, this is amazing. And it's honestly, we need it for the space and the storage. But how do I make that more pleasing to the eye? Do we get a box so you can't see the shoes and just have like a couple of coats? I don't know. Let me know if you have any ideas for that. This desk, absolutely love it. It is a beautiful desk. It's an Ikea one. Again, with the chair. This is such a good chair, but it just don't look nice. Um, this whole section just looks very busy at the moment. And yeah, we've, we need to organise and put stuff away. But I think I want a smaller desk because it doesn't look that big, but it's huge. It takes up quite a lot of room. However, it is in like out the way. But we need a desk because Liam works from home and I do a lot of work as well. 
So next we're moving on to the kitchen. Such a beautiful day today. Look, this is what I mean, how gross. Just need all, everything needs just painting. Let me just turn my tumble dryer off. So I'm standing at the other side of the kitchen now. So I did paint this a couple of years ago white. However, it needs repainting again. Um, this kitchen was like it when we bought the house. It's actually fine. Like I don't actually mind this kitchen. It's really nice and bright. It's just very small, but you've got to cope with what you have. But these top cupboards here and here, we want to replace with lovely wooden open shelves. And this <laughs> little arrangement is the sort of vibe that I want to go for. So sort of like, I want to say Spanish, European vibe on my shelf. We have started collecting some really nice like bits to go on the shelf. So like these little bottles, I've got like vinegar and oil, like some of the plates that we have are just really nice and um, like to put on display. Um, I'm mainly, I'm a very minimal believe it or not. So I feel like having open shelves won't, they won't look massively cluttered. Um, so yeah, that's the vibe in here. Um, and that's it really, it's not gonna be a massive makeover. However, I do think creating them shelves there is gonna, we're gonna find some stuff that we probably don't want to find and it's gonna be a bigger job than we think. However, I think, it'll be worth it. So I'm not going to go outside today because my neighbours are outside and I don't want them to hear me filming. Um, all my washing's there, ignore that. But we've got quite a small garden, a decking. We're just going to stain that this year. And if you can see at the end of the garden, we've got a couple of fence panels that need replacing. So that's all we're going to do this year in the garden. Um, I did create a little chalkboard. Do you know what stuff it? I'll show you this is a chalkboard for Otis so he can draw on that so this is Otis's bedroom a lot of you would have seen this I've done multiple videos in here so we've got our lovely Ikea wardrobes here we just need to replace these door handles because we had a bit of a problem here so that's a little job that we need to do these frames here <laughs> still need stuff putting in but i'm gonna let otis do some artwork to put in those those bags for the loft ignore that um and we've still got to get some lettering for the wall here it just needs a little bit of a tidy we also need some cot um what they called furniture basically to make it it's a wonky house so the floor is un um even so the cart just needs some sort of stoppers stoppers you know what i mean at the moment it's got some muslins under there um so yeah that's otis's current bedroom like i said not a lot just probably gonna make more use of the space i guess and um, we don't have an awful lot of stuff in here which is great okay walking through to my favorite room in the house which is the bathroom so again we had this done a couple of years ago i just love that print it's beautiful liam bought me that for my birthday um right so we don't need to do much in here ignore this plant basically this is off the subject, but um, these lilies come and go, come and go, and they're on the go at the moment. Um, so we've got this beautiful wooden shelf. This is the vibe that I want in the kitchen. Um, I just want to make this shelf look nice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? At the moment, we've just got like baskets, baskets, baskets with products in. A lovely plant to be fair that's fine lovely print some lovely bits and then our shower bits want to make that look nice and then we've got this cabinet here with our monstera which i think we need to move um again just looks gross do you know what i mean i need to style it i'm not very good at like styling shelves so if anyone has any styling inspo please let me know but i'm probably going to do some videos on like how to style my shelves um 
so yeah this like wooden towel rail i made this out of logs from the garden um we repainted this mirror higher um so yeah it's just just basically styling up i guess Okay, this hallway is very, very dark. Um, that light there is very bright, looks like the sun. So we need a light to fit in for there. It's just dingy. We had paneling, not paneling, dado rail put on last year. Um, so we just need to repaint this hallway. And I'm thinking of putting some prints on the wall, but it's very narrow. So I don't want to catch as we walk. Um, the carpet's absolutely fine. That was put down a couple of years ago. And then we need to paint the like the loft hatch and fill in a gap there as well. So yeah, that's going to be a big job because the ceilings are just so high. Okay, so the final room is our bedroom. We decorated this when we first moved in. Um, we did the floor, so it's the original floorboards, and we've um, sort of stained them a dark wood, which I love. Um, however, we get a lot of damp up in this corner, as you can see, and basically on the alcoves, and we've you can see we've tried to wash it. Um, so this is just white emulsion and we need to get um, some mold paint but I'm thinking of doing the alcoves in a different colour. Let me know what you think. Um, we need a new radiator. Oh, yeah. um, but I'm really happy with this room. It's just my sanctuary. We do want a new bed because I feel like this bed just doesn't go with the vibe. Um, and I want to restyle these shelves a little bit better. But yeah, that's that's the plan. So that completes our house tour. Um, I've got a little Otis on the floor. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my house. <coughs> yes, did you? Um, and I don't really know if you've gained anything from this video, however, I feel like it's going to be a great before and after. So stay tuned and please subscribe. It does mean the world and it really does make a difference. Um, and yeah, watch this space for some decorating of our little house. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you very soon on my next video.